today on Judge Alex. She says her ex-boyfriend ripped her off. Pardon me, but if you were dumb enough to finance a car for him or whatever you wanted to finance, how's he being a thief? Jeff is a very good liar. You offered to do it. You played the love card, Jeff. No, you've been nothing but a mooch. And then you have the gall to come in here and say, she's not the type of character I want to hang out with. That's incredible. Now, he's telling all. I am not a lesbian, Jeff. And maybe after being with you, I should be. And later, they say her dog is no angel. We heard a dog holler. My baby woke me up and said, baby, you hear that? So I look out the window. I see his little tail going up the street with four dogs. He's a horny dog. Mr. Price, I I'm a hair from throwing you out of the courtroom. As a cop, he stood up for the law. If I was the cop who showed up on the scene, you'd still be in jail. As a trial lawyer, he fought for the truth. Tell the truth or take a walk. And as a criminal court judge, he commanded authority. I've locked up people for less than what you did. Now, he has his own courtroom. This is my house. Where the cases are real. I will kick you both out and you don't follow my rules. And justice rules. I'm giving you one last warning. Introducing Judge Alex. Heidi Coleman says she never thought she'd have to sue her ex, but he's refusing to pay $4,800 in credit card charges, and she wants him to pay up. Jeffrey Stein says he's not responsible for the credit card charges because the plaintiff made them voluntarily, trying to buy his love. All rise. Court is now in session. Honorable Judge Alex Ferrer presiding. Thank you. Please be seated. Ms. Coleman. Yes, Your Honor. You're suing your former boyfriend, Mr. Yes. Stein, because you say that he ran up your credit card by having you buy things on the credit card that he's refusing to reimburse you for? Yes, that's okay. correct. Okay, Mr. Stein, you're saying those, those were never intended to be a loan. Those were gifts while you were together in a relationship. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. Go ahead and start. Okay. When I met him, I wasn't, I didn't think that much of him. He would cut people down. He would... He was arrogant, and I thought he was kind of a creepy person. And I was lonely, and I settled for this relationship. And with that, um, he had a son, so we, I had an instant family. And a few months later, I did move in with him. Okay. Then what happened? Um, as soon as I moved in with him, right away, he started stealing from me. What do you mean by stealing from me? Stealing you? from me uh, because he could not get things financed. He came home one day and said he wanted this used vehicle and that if I would finance it for him, he would make the monthly uh, payment. Wait a minute, that's, oh, okay, that's completely that is, untrue. That is not that untrue. That is untrue. Pardon me, but if you were dumb enough to finance a car for him or whatever you wanted to finance, how's he being a thief? Well, because he, he swears he will make the monthly payments on it. That he does. He makes the monthly payments on it religiously. Until time comes near that that vehicle needs about $3,000 work, worth of work. So he doesn't have the money. He comes back to me, promises that if we get the vehicle Excuse fixed. Me, I, I didn't come back to you. You offered to do it. We went there together. And you Jeff, said, Jeff, we're going to put it on my car. Your Honor. That's exactly what you said to me. Okay, go ahead. Let me hear that your version. That is an absolute out-and-out out lie. I had no idea he was even looking at a vehicle. He tried to finance it himself. You went but with he was me to so, look at it. His, so, his credit was so bad that I find out later on that they would not finance the vehicle for him. So you moved in with this guy who you don't know that well because you've been dating for three months and... Right away, he's asking you, will you finance a car for me? And you, you're, now your antenna's really going up. That's kind of weird, but you go ahead and you finance it. I and then do. After uh, that, there's like $3,000 in repair bills, you're telling me. Right. And you charge those, too. Yes. Your Honor, none of, this, none of this makes sense. You played the love card, Jeff. No, I was. I was in love with you, and I never thought that we would be here in a situation like this today. Right. What else did you pay for? A cell phone for his son. Okay. And what else? How much clothes. was that? Like 160 dollars exactly. right? right? What else? What is the clothes. cell phone I told her not to buy? You are such a liar. What else did you buy? Clothes. And that was for it. For the children? Yeah. Now, didn't his son also have a car that uh, you ended up putting on your insurance because you found out you couldn't put it on his insurance? Yes. And then 
Didn't his son's car also break down? His son's car broke down, and that was about $350 worth of damage. At I any only... point along this line, did you start worrying about whether you were really going to get paid back? Well, let me tell you. Jeff is a very good liar, and he will promise you the world, and he can make you believe it. Let me, let me hear your side here. You're asking her to charge all these things to the credit card. Right? Did you ever pay her I, back? I'm not asking her to charge these things. We were engaged to be married. These things she volunteered to do. Your Honor? Were you engaged? No, we were not. I have a $99 ring on my hand right now that he bought me for Christmas. Next on Judge Allen's, the judge makes his ruling after a word of advice. I think the two of you should get married. I really do. You're going to have to trust me on this one, because otherwise, the two of you might marry two normal people and totally ruin their lives. Judge Alex continues in the case of Heidi Coleman, who's suing her ex for $4,800 in credit card charges. How'd you break up? What happened? I came home from school one day, and Jeff was in a real foul mood, and some guy had called the house for me. And I guess he forgot that I had four brothers. So what do you think? She was having an affair? Um, that could have been the second one. She had a girlfriend come to visit from Michigan one time. We're sitting in the kitchen, and Heidi comes through the kitchen in her pajamas, and she goes, well, I'm going to bed, which is something she always did. She'd just say, well, I'm going to bed, and she would be gone. Walked through the kitchen in her pajamas. I said, well, where are you going? Our bedroom's over here. She goes, no, I'm going to sleep with my friend. I said, what? I said, in my house you're going to do that? No, give me a break. She goes, no, that's a Michigan thing. I said, oh, really? I said, I'm from Wisconsin. We're just across the lake. Our women don't do that. I am not a lesbian, Jeff. <laughs> Did the police Could come with someone? And maybe I... after being with you, I should be. <laughs> I think the two of you should get married. I really do. You're going to have to trust me on this one, because otherwise, the two of you might marry two normal people and totally ruin their lives. <laughs> so you break up. We break you break up. up. You leave, and you have a mountain of bills. A mountain. How much and is on your credit card? And he knows that. How much is on your credit card? The you total leave? amount was about $15,000. I'm asking for 4800 mm -hmm. for repair bills for the vehicle. Okay. Whatever happened to the truck? Your Honor, I paid for that truck. I went to the bank where it was financed. I paid $5,800 and, and some change cash. And I had to wait over two months. Heidi wouldn't give me the title. Could and my insurance company money? was giving me problems about insuring a vehicle that's not really mine uh, and it's not in my name. The vehicle is in your name. Mm -hmm. and I so said, you're the legal owner on this right. car? Yes. Right? Yes. Just like all the credit card bills are in your name, even though they're, you say, joint bills, you're the one that's carrying this monkey on your back. Yes. Did you ever transfer the title back to him? Yes, I did. It cost me an additional $500, Your Honor. You know, I have to tell you, I feel sorry for you. On the one hand. On the other hand, I don't feel sorry for you. You have I totally am... set yourself up for this. I'm totally. I, I am an idiot. I, I am embarrassed to be here. I, honestly, I wish I could disagree. You have let this man walk all over you. You charged everything. You had one thing and one thing only that you could use to repay everything that this guy piled on top of your credit card and you gave it back to him. You have a vehicle and it's in your name. Mm -hmm. And you can sell it because you have a title in your name. And you gave it back to him. And worse than that, the last thing you charged was two years and four months before you filed your lawsuit. In Texas, the statute of limitations for verbal contracts is two years. She cannot recover from you what you should lawfully and rightfully pay because you've been nothing but a mooch. And then you have the gall to come in here and say, she's not the type of character I want to hang out with. Like, the people you mooch off have to be much higher character than you. That's incredible. It wasn't mooching. All right. I hope you don't find somebody else like him in the future. Thank you. But this is a def uh, defense verdict. All rise. The judge has denied the plaintiff's claim, so her ex-boyfriend does not have to pay the $4,800 she was seeking. 
When Judge Alex continues, did they mistreat her dog? Goldie was infested with fleas. There was ticks on top of ticks, oh, ticks, and drinking each other's blood because there was so many on him. April Reed says her dog Goldie mysteriously ended up in the defendant's yard and while in their care was seriously injured. She's suing for $5,000 in vet bills plus pain and suffering. Kenneth and Sheila Price say they're not responsible for the dog's injuries because he snuck out of their yard and got injured in a dog fight. Miss Reed. You're suing Mr. Price for injuries suffered by Goldie when you say he mistreated her? Him. Is that right? Yes. Or mistreated him. Thank you. And uh, Mr. Price, I think your response, if I understand it correctly, is Goldie's just a dog and you were not mistreating him. You're not responsible for any injuries. Yes. Okay. Let me hear your case. First of all, Goldie is a Pomeranian. Pomeranian. He's a little dog, but that's what people see. I have never raised him as a dog. I raised Goldie as a child, just what every other kid has, Goldie has. From a bedroom to tricycles, TVs, stereo system, jewelry, you name it, whoa, Goldie whoa, whoa. has it. Did you say tricycles? <laughs> he has a tricycle. Really? Okay. All right. What happened? I moved in with my daughter, and I left Goldie with my daughter so I could go run errands. Okay. When I came back, Goldie was gone. So you were the one that ended up with I ain't Goldie. over the dog. Her cousin came by the house. She's I'm not, not going to give no name. Her, please. Yeah, I, I don't know the lady. She's not talk. my cousin. Yeah, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Somebody brought you the dog. Right. Brought the dog to us. Right. Gave me the dog for $40, okay? All right. Okay, I give the young lady the $40 for the dog. We watched the dog all the way from January all the way to, I think, July, June. So you had the dog for about seven, six, seven, seven months, months, something like okay. that. Okay. Took care of the dog, took the dog fishing my kids, take him to the park. We kept him in the house for one month. After one month, he had to get out because he's telling her, tell her she said he's house trained, he's got his own bed. This dog got leather furniture. Every, all he do is walk around like he do on the streets, and when he walk around, he pees on everything Goldie around. I've been having Goldie since he was seven months old. He okay. never peed in my house. I don't understand why he gonna go to nobody else's house and pee. Okay, so you had the dog inside for about a month. What, month. By the way, what'd you call the dog? I call him uh, Sarge. Sarge. Sarge you didn't know his name. Was, name. Sarge? Sarge. Okay. Sarge. So Just you, like didn't, a... you didn't know his name was Goldie? No, no. I did okay. not. So you had him inside for about a month, and the yes. dog, according to you, You're was relieving on himself on, on stuff. The furniture. Okay. So I put him out those. My okay. house is fenced in, but, but somehow he's fence. like a snake, man. This dog here, my neighbor's knock on the door at 10.30 in the morning and say, Twin, I just seen your dog up on Shekinah and Avenue, okay? This dog, he gets away for some kind of, and he runs with the rest of the crowd, man. So this what dog did you do? Go get him and bring him back? Go get him I go get him, him but he's a breeder, okay? He's a hot... I want to say the word, but he is one of those type of dogs. Likes to chase, okay? Okay, hold on that's a second. That's how she lost him. He okay. ain't never, no, that's not that how I lost my dog. Freedom. Hold on, okay, hold on a second. All right, so well, maybe he went off on a bender. Yeah, but the I bottom know. line is, Look, you, you, he ended up at their house, and you right. found out he was at their house, so what right. happened? He said that he was dead, so I'm thinking... Well, first of all, how'd you feel when you heard the Goldie I, that's, that's what I'm going to tell you, because I'm... I, I almost lost it. I couldn't, I couldn't even yeah. deal with that. I'm assuming you got over there. You went over there. After I thought Goldie was she dead. She came down there and said, look, twin, I found out y'all have a red dog at your house. True enough. Okay. What would it, if it's my dog, what would it take to get this dog back? I said, well, ma'am, I had this dog for about nine months, eight and a half months now. She said, what would it take? I said, $100. I said, $80. She said, I'm going to give you $100, That's okay? A lie. He told me 200 Listen, What about in the complaint? You said something about a couple of puppies. You asked her for a couple okay. of puppies listen, from the dog, no. too. Okay, listen, Judge. When she come to the... This is the honest truth, okay? She came to the shop. She said, Twin, do you have a red dog up at your house? I said, yes, I do have a red dog at the house. She said, can I go up there and see it? Because I think this is my dog. And if this is my dog, what would it take for me to get this dog back? I said, what is the name? She said, the name is Goldie. I said, well, I paid $40 for the dog, okay? She said, well, what would it be worth for all the time you took care of the dog? I said, well, man, give me 80. She gave me a $100 bill, but she went to the store first and got the 100 and came back. So at back. this point, you give her the dog back? Before I gave the dog back, I take her up to the house. Before we go to the house, she said, twin, hey, she cried like a baby. I pat her back. I felt sorry for her, okay? Because she whined like this is her okay. child. I understand like she's saying right. now. I cherish this dog. Okay, she cried. I pat her back. I said, look here, baby. She said, I, I promise you, my, I said, my kid's going to be very upset. They Your took kids were the attached dog. to the dog. Yes. Very attached. Okay. You okay? had them for seven months. She said, I promise you, two puppies. 
Don't and a hundred dollars. And don't you know she called me back two days later? You know what she said? Hey, your kids. I ain't getting my damn don't thing. Don't you dare That's swear what, sir, like, No. I swear don't you lie in this court. Hold on. Coming up next on Judge Alex, the judge makes his ruling after Goldie is brought into the courtroom. We got Goldie here. You can see what happened to Goldie. Judge Alex continues in the case of April Reed, who's suing Kenneth and Sheila Price for $5,000 in vet bills, plus pain and suffering. Now I'm sitting here looking at Goldie. I got Goldie. Oh He's God. filthy dirty. <laughs> you right. I okay. did cry. Right. Quiet down. You right. I sure did. I did that. That's Whoa. the only thing he's telling the truth about. Oh, God, That's yeah. the only thing he's telling the truth about is how bad I cried when I got there and I right. saw the shape that Goldie was in. Goldie was infested, infested with fleas. What, like he was infested hair? with ticks. It was ticks on top of ticks, oh, ticks, and drinking each other's blood because there was so many on him. His leg broke. Now, he's talking oh, about his Lord. kids playing with this dog every day, and the dog is infested with fleas, ticks, oh, and a broke Lord. leg. What, what, hap infection. what happened to the dog that he got a broken leg? He what said I got ran over by a car. I don't well, know. I'm asking him. We were asleep at 3 o'clock in the morning. Go to, I mean, uh, oh. Sod got out of the gate again. We heard a dog holler. Arr! My baby woke me up and said, baby, you hear that? So I look out the window. I see his little tail going up the street with four dogs up on top of uh, People Street, okay? That's now, totally whatever he did, he was horny, talking. all right? He's a horny dog. <laughs> Mr. Price, I I'm a hair from throwing you out of the courtroom. Okay. Your dog ended up with a broken leg. Right. He what, had a broken leg. What happened when he you took him to the vet? The wrong dog. We got Goldie here. You good. can see what happened to Goldie. You have Goldie in the back? Now bring her out. His name is Sarge, by the way. Uh, Come on, baby. Come here, Sarge. You Come better not call him because his damn Sarge. name ain't no, no. Sarge. Make sure you Come give the dog to the right Come person, Sarge. okay? He ain't growling at you. Now, see What's what up, happened Sarge? to him? He hey, had to man. get his leg amputated doing, because baby? the leg okay, was quiet broke. Down. The leg stayed broke for so long they had to until amputate. they we could not save his right, leg. What is it you're suing for? I'm suing him for the total cost of $5,000 for all the care and payments and things that I had to spend on Goldie and, and, and for pain and suffering. And I gave you a list of everything that I have, I have done. I have the list right here. Okay. I also have the uh, vet's report, the vet, veterinarian's notes. That claim that states and that there was foul play in this. There was no accident. That's well, I think foul what the, I think what the vet says, I think you'll agree with me, what the vet says is he doesn't think that this injury was caused by a car because he thinks your dog is Thank so you. small that a car probably would have killed him. Thank you. Right. But could have been bit by a dog's. Thank you. Right? I know it was his dog. All right, this, this is the bottom line. I, I don't have anything to indicate that he intentionally did anything to your dog. Thank you. Uh, I didn't just, say he intentionally, why am sir, I here but today? Okay. if he or, caused harm but, while he's in his care, he should be responsible for that. This is not a back and forth at this point. Okay. This is my ruling. There's nothing here to indicate that he intentionally abused the dog. So you can't hold him responsible for injuries that were caused when... He had the dog because there's nothing to show he was mistreating the dog. And he doesn't owe you a duty. You had lost the dog. At least you got the dog back. I'm glad Thank you got you. reunited with your dog. Thank but you. The bottom Thank line. You. The bottom line is that the only thing that I think that you need to be compensated for here is he shouldn't have charged you for the dog. Once he knew it was your dog, he shouldn't have charged you for it. So I'll, I'm going to accept your testimony about the $200. He should get a credit for the amount he paid, which was $40. And that leaves a balance of $160. Pay the judgment of 160 for the plaintiff. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. April Reed has won her case, but the judge has awarded her only $160, not the $5,000 she was seeking. What hurt me the most is the way he went in there and lied, and the way he's trying to make people seem like, you know, Goldie is just some old mutt. Goldie is my son. I'm very, I feel very disappointed about the dog legs, okay? He had, does have three legs now, but you know, he's alive today, okay? The dog is alive. I'm happy. The dog alive, and I'm happy about that.